sticking with cyberspace and cybersecurity stocks, they are on fire right now, probably because of what we've just been talking about. Joining me now, I haven't talked to you for a while, Kingsview Wealth Management Chief Investment Officer Scott Martin. Scott, great to see you. Great to um, see you again. Let's talk about some of these stocks. Yeah, you like, to, you like uh, let's see, CrowdStrike and, and a favorite of many right now, Palo Alto Networks. Explain why you like these in particular. Yeah, uh, a lot of talk about these two names, uh, Ashley, and I'll tell you, that scares me a little bit that people are starting to get into these stocks, but that's part of the chase. That's part of the kind of <laughs> FOMO that's out there, the fear of miffing, missing out that people like in these uh, cyber areas. And I'll tell you, Ashley, I mean, if you just think about, like you said, what you were just talking about with the previous guest there, as well as things that we go through in our own lives, the, the malware attacks, the fake phishing emails we get. I mean, how many fake emails mm. do I get from the fake Ashley Webster these days? I'm getting so excited, I click on them, and then they try to steal my information. The reality <laughs> is, is like a lot of those emails are still out there, man. There's a lot of these bad actors out there that are trying to get on our phones, trying to hack us, and that's where these two companies come in to try to prevent that stuff and track it down. You say the markets are off to the races on AI hype, um, and you've mentioned a couple of stocks there, but do we overextend ourselves? Do we get overexcited about this, or has this got some real substance? Oh, gosh, there's substance in there. I'm not sure what the AI version of me would say. Yeah. I guess the AI version would probably encourage it, but I, I do think there's a lot of hype here, you know? I think there's a lot of things, actually, that are they're reminders of, say, a 1999-2000 uh, ton of tech boom crisis as well, and even like an 07 or 08 housing boom crisis or real estate uh, boom and bust is because it just feels like a lot of these names, and looking outside of some of the easy ones to us, which is like the Googles, the Microsoft, Apples, um, some of these smaller companies are just trading at ridiculous ridiculous, like atmospheric valuations that to me just don't be warranted yet in the sense of probably long term these valuations come down, meaning the prices come down, but that doesn't mean they can't right. go up for a few months more as the craze is on. All right, from AI to Taco Bell, there's a segue. Uh, Taco Bell introducing a uniform collaboration with a Brooklyn artist, no less, all in an attempt to retain workers amid <laughs> staffing shortages. So it's not just a T-shirt. As a loyal Taco Bell customer, I am told, uh, what do you make of this? Yeah, probably more than loyal, maybe the all-time customer, I guess, given everything they've gotten out of this uh, Taco Bell thing I did last year. But I love uh, Taco Bell, as we know, and I love uh, unique T-shirts and style. The trouble is, at the end of the day, does it really keep somebody in the job? I mean, it, it, maybe the food mm. instead, the tacos to me are really good, maybe the work atmosphere. Not so sure the T-shirt's going to do it there, but I do applaud Taco Bell, Yum Brands being the parent company there. Ashley trying to get the worker morale up because let's face it when we're in a job whether it's journalism food service um, some other maybe customer service job whatever yeah. it is you want to feel good about where you are so that you can do a good job for your customers I went to work at Taco Bell and all I got was this lousy t-shirt I can see it now but there, there again it's supposed to be cool and, and internet uh, harassment yeah. too Scott, there you go <laughs> yeah there you go Scott thank you so much great to see you uh, once again appreciate your time today all right